Hi guys, Jimmy McIntyre here and welcome to another episode of Photoshop Secrets. Today I'm going to show you a very quick technique that I call fake HDR. Now it isn't real HDR because we're not using multiple exposures so we can't fully restore highlights and shadows but it can soften highlights and shadows in a very nice way. And it's going to be using something we've looked at quite a few times now and it's called apply image. Let me show you an example of it in Raya Pro. So Raya Pro users, you can find this at the bottom of the Enhance tab called Fake HDR. And essentially what it does is creates a layer that restores our shadows or just brightens up our shadows somewhat. So here are our shadows and there's the before and after. And we can, of course, strengthen the effect if we want so we can make it brighter or darker. It's entirely up to us. So there's a slightly brighter effect. And we have a highlights layer here, which brings down some of our highlights. So you can see the window is very strongly overexposed and there's the before and after. And we can even strengthen that effect by duplicating this layer. So there's the before and after again. Each time restoring the highlights. So if you're not a Raya Pro user, how can you do this? Well, the first thing I recommend is that you record this as an action so that you don't have to do it each time. And that way it'll be much quicker. But to create this fake HDR, we're going to open up two new layers here. And on this layer, we're going to go to Edit, Fill, and we're going to choose Black. And press OK. And on the bottom layer, we're going to go to Edit, Fill, and choose White. And now we make them both invisible. Now we create a layer mask on the white layer and a layer mask on the black layer. So for the white layer I'm going to select the mask and go to image, apply image and make sure your settings are the same as mine but choose invert and this is going to select only the shadows. Now I'm going to make this layer visible and change it to soft light and I'm going to bring the opacity all the way down to around 30%. And there we can see we've brought up the shadows nicely. And now I'm going to choose the layer mask of the black layer. I'm going to go to image, apply image, untick invert and just press OK. And now I'm going to change the blend mode of this one just like before to soft light. And we can see we've created quite a nice strong effect. If you want to make the mask more specific, because right now it's targeting the highlights and also a lot of upper midtones, we can uncheck the dark layer again, go back to image, apply image, and press OK. And now we've made an even more specific mask, targeting the highlights a bit more accurately. And so there is the before and after. Then we can control these and just call them fake HDR. And this is the before and after. So before we've got some strong shadows along here and the highlights are extremely strong as well. And after with the fake HDR, we've just softened the contrast a little bit and just brought down the highlights a little bit too. Like I say, this isn't a real HDR effect. It's just a way of softening the tones in our image and reducing the contrast a bit. So I hope you found that useful and I look forward to showing you more cool techniques in the next video.